Oh, hello there. You know, I love you, Unikitty. And what happens when I am a fan of that show and watch too many creepypasta criticism videos? This. So, welcome to a Unikitty Lost episode, Creepypasta. Or as I like to call it, how not to write a creepypasta. Let's begin. Unikitty Lost episode. So, you know Unikitty. That show about a unicat! <laughs> Okay, what is this? So when I went to watch it, an episode zero was going to air. But weird. Okay, um, already there's too many grammatical errors and terrible punctuation. So we're off to an amazing start, aren't we? I watched that new episode. It's a new episode, but episode zero is, um, after episode, uh, three or something like that. Okay. Unikitty's eyes were black, along with the others, while all of their mouths were open! Why does open have an uppercase O? The episode started. Unikitty was walking in blood. The reveal was this. Her eyes were bleeding! And it was weird. Before the lines, Unikitty stabbed Poppycorn for one hour! Okay, before... What? Okay, dialogue, but uh... You can't stab your little brother for one hour. I mean, first of all, how did this get on the Cartoon Network? Second of all, Unikitty episodes are like 11 minutes long. How can a stabbing scene go on for like an hour? Oh yeah, and um, uh, the capital lowercase letters are uh, completely out of place too. He was screaming and he was dumb. I mean, as he was dying by being stabbed. Then Unikitty laughed, then the screen started getting weird. Static then appeared! Then it started causing a black screen. Then it started... Um, what's gonna start over and over again? What's going on? Unikitty was sitting. Poppycorn was next to her with bloodshot eyes. And he had a knife. He murdered Unikitty and became evil. Then the line started. Okay, if she stabbed him for over an hour, how is he still alive, and how could he kill her? Okay, we get a bunch of spaces, and then hear the video's lines. I thought this was a TV episode. Alright, <laughs> get ready for some, uh, terrible impressions. It's time to die! Richard phases through the floor, causing Unikitty to stop. Frank says we don't have to make this a huge deal. Oh, so now you're in on this too, huh, Richard? Okay, so Unikitty stabs Richard. Richard drops, uh, drops down. Yeah, next! Cut to the front of the line. Wait, what line? Two citizens, one acting as a base and a triangular one on top of them are in line. Okay, so that makes sense. Oh, wait! Oh, wait, it's like fire and nice with problem fixie day, but they're all... They're all... Um, they're all in line to kill themselves or get killed by Unikitty. So, us. The base citizen walks forwards. <laughs> forwards. Cut to them walking up the stairs to the throne. What problem do you need to have a kill? Not cursing today. Base citizen, I'm tired of carrying this guy around. He never likes me where we go. Close cut to one of the citizens being killed. I can't because this doesn't make sense. You're the one with legs! Oh, is that my fault? Cut to Unikitty. Somewhat flustered. Well, maybe you could have think it. And then all of a sudden, it skips a bunch of dialogue lines just to Master Frost saying, It's gonna rain. The beach cloud turns into a thunderstorm. Cut to the bug substance. Okay, now it's like, uh, yeah, it's like fire and nice, but all out of order. I saw a spider! An imaginary spider pops up near him. Cut to Master Frost, the spider near him. Good, be scared! The spider near him turns green and scary, so it's like a script. Cut to Craig. She's holding a dog collar as a dog shadow with a question mark appears near her. My dog's a monster! Cut to Master Fran, the dog shadow near him. Your dog, I hate you! The dog shadow turns to a dog, looking away disapprovingly. Hand out to Craig, the bad citizen, and the bug citizen. Aww. Wait, there was no bad citizen. You just had the triangle and base one, and then all of a sudden Master Fran shows up, cutting the episode off by a bit. The three of them walk off sadly. Cut to Master Frown, Unikitty flies up to him angry. Hey, Evie, die! Language Unikitty. Master Frown gets stabbed. Cut 
Cut to Unikitty, hissing in anger, turning into Angry Kitty. Cut back to Master Frown. Silence. Cut to Unikitty, still as Angry Kitty as she roars. Cut to Master Frown, who leaps in. Master Frown dies. Cut, I mean, close. Cut to Unikitty, still as Angry Kitty, with blinks in her eyes. Also, why am I making so many mistakes? Time to die! <laughs> what is this, your creepypasta catchphrase now? Cut to the throne room. Puppycorn, Dr. Fox, Hawkeye, and Richard are hiding behind the throne. Unikitty bursts into a glittery explosion. I thought this was supposed to be a creepy episode. Why is she acting like her normal self all of a sudden? Cut to the outside of the kingdom where a pink and glittery mushroom cloud in the shape of Unikitty's head explodes as Master Frown is flung into the distance. Cut to Master Frown hitting the throne room floor, grasping onto it as the wind from the explosion blows him back as he struggles. Struggles? I thought he was dead! Cut to Unikitty in a much deeper red angry kitty form as she floats. Unikitty yelling her voice echoing, Today is about fixing the epic death problems, but you are the epic problem! <laughs> this is so bad! Unikitty dashes into Master Frown, causing a flash cut to Master Frown hurling out of the castle into the horizon. Master Frown yelling, Ah! Died. Why did, why did he die twice? How come when, like he did, Unikitty and Puppy Corn also, uh, get, when they die, they don't stay dead? Except for the triangle and face citizen, as, as this creepy pasta likes to call him. A star flash appears in the sky as Master Frown disappears. Panty Unikitty looking outside back to normal. Good time to kill! Turns around. Now it's time to kill! Um. This makes no sense. Unikitty gasps. Cut to the throne room, which has various bits of rubble embedded into the floor as everything is on fire. Cut to the ceiling, the punch bowl of the throne. The throw crumbles to ashes as the totem pole stack made of Richard, Dr. Fox, Puppycorn, and Hawkadile is revealed. Unikitty flies in, so did they stack themselves into a totem pole, or was there a statue of them? Uh, made in their honor, I guess, but uh... Anyway, um... I hated you all so much that I will kill you all! Your proper grammar, oh god! Unikitty kills them all. How am I supposed to help anybody when I have all this anger inside? Cut to the review. Cut to the view of the reflection, which shifts to Angry Kitty. Unikitty's reflections then talks were just like in Fire and Nice. But anger is good for you. Cut to Unikitty. No, it's definitely not. Cut to the reflection. Yes, it is. Okay, now we get this uh, conversation. Well, argument, I should say, between Unikitty and her reflection. Up until. It says cut to you to kitty who stomps on a reflection. No! Ugh. I wish I could just get rid of you. Cut to the reflection. You can't. I'm a part of who you are. Cut to you to kitty who blinks in alertness. But maybe you don't have to be. F you! You're a B word for dog! Stabs you in a kitty's reflection. How can you stab your own reflection? That doesn't make sense. Unikitty flies off, cut to Dr. Fox and Hawkadile, who are back to life, just like everyone else somehow. Cleaning up the throne room, Unikitty flies in, catching herself in the handle on Dr. Fox's mop, dragging her along. Dr. Fox, I need your help with every death! Anything for death! Puppycorn leaps in with Richard floating in. Puppycorn flies in, dying. Why is... Why does everyone keep dying over and over again? This makes no sense. And flies is misspelled here. Cut to Unikitty, pushing Dr. Fox as the two still move, the two stomping on a circular rug. Stay till I get back. The rug slides down like an elevator. Cut to Puppycorn, who is thinking as others surround him, and he's still alive after dying like three times already. Oh, gets killed. Ah, why does he keep dying? Puppycorn starts to break dance as techno music plays, even though it just said that he died. Hawkadile and Richard watch from behind in shock. Hawkadile leaves near him. Oh, you, I can't do Hawkadile. Oh, gosh. Speakers and various citizens surround Puppycorn cheering as the lights go technicolored. Um, Richard flies up, looking down in confusion. Cuts Unikitty and Dr. Fox in the lab. Dr. Fox wheels together a machine. Uh, or welds? I don't even know, but, uh... Uh... Again, with the skipping dialogue, Puppycorn, Richard, and Hawkadile put a dance party together to distract the citizens on Problem Fixie Day so Unikitty could, uh, 
solve her anger issues with Dr. Fox, but this is just getting ridiculous. Back to the creepy pasta. For God's sakes! You're going to hell, Doc! Dr. Fox turns around, lifting up her welding mask. Dr. Fox gets killed. Now Unikitty breaks the fourth wall by saying, Kids, don't bother locking your doors and hide because soon I will find you and kill you all. <laughs> I never heard Unikitty swear. Yeah, you did like a couple of times earlier in this episode. There was a black screen and it came out on. An image flashed, but I couldn't make it out. It was like a distorted image of Unikitty, which looked pretty scary. I saw a text that said, Unikitty is watching you. I guess when I saw that text after this video ended, I stand still and then I was looking for Cartoon Network's owner, but he was gone. That's when something behind me said, I killed him and now I'm going to kill you. I turned around and saw a demonic Unikitty walking toward me. Even when he killed me, Unikitty's a girl. Why did she start using him pro uh, male pronouns? Even when he killed me, he still sang that freaking song. I don't know how um, it's supposed to be sung, but Bully or Xar, we're going to hell thanks to you. The rest. Okay, so the rest of the over an hour long episode apparently showed Unikitty distorted. There's a link to some fan made intro, and um, there were three pictures, all from uh, the show, just distorted, and uh, two of them are actually the same picture. Well, uh, that was pretty freaking awful. Luckily, it's on the fake Creepypasta wiki. So, uh, that was the thing. Uh, nothing more than a deadly, bloody, gore obsessed remake of Fire and Nice. But, uh, if you're gonna do a creepypasta about Unikitty or any other cartoon for that matter, please just don't do a lost episode with lots of blood and gore. It's been done to death so many times before. I mean, the grammar mistakes alone make this entirely all too cliche. Also, speaking of Unikitty, I have a brand new Tumblr blog now called Frown of Doom. It's an AU about Master Frown being this all-powerful Doom Lord now, so... If you like what I do, if you're a fan of Unikitty, if you have a Tumblr blog, or any of those, I highly recommend checking it out because I'm trying to put as much effort as I can into it. Other than that, thanks for stopping by and listening to this.